Welcome back. This summer, your news leader spoke with 20 members of the high school class of 2023. The valedictorians, Mr. and Miss Basketball finalists, student government presidents, and team captains shared their advice with incoming freshmen in our graduate guidance. If you're Derek right now, a 14 year old, and I told you, like, yeah, definitely just focus on yourself. Shoot your shot. <laughs> Do your thing when you have your chance. What you do isn't gonna isn't gonna matter in five years. It's not that big of a deal. Just have fun. Get outside of your comfort zone. Maybe embarrass yourself every once in a while. Take it all in and just have fun with it. Get involved and go out of your comfort zone. Don't just stay back. Go out and find new friends and do new things that you might not feel super comfortable doing. Take as many electives as you can. And it just, okay, maybe not as you can, but experiment. High school is kind of a place where you can experiment a little bit, maybe join facts and join other things. And if, even if it's not within a classroom setting, it's important to try things like FFA, FBLA. Get involved as many things as possible, as soon as possible, because you honestly don't know what will happen. And there's gonna be some things that you know that you won't be made for and that's fine but you will find the things that you really are made for you're definitely more capable than you think you are like if you have something you want to try out try it out if you don't like it that's fine be involved in as much as you can be involved in even if you don't feel like going you think you it's not going to be important you'll end up wanting once you go you'll end up loving the experience and you'll meet so many people that's just something that i'll never regret though is being involved in everything that i was involved in I know everyone says it, but don't take it for granted because it, it flies. Take it all in because everyone always says it goes by super fast and you, you believe them, but you don't really know how fast it goes until it's gone. Well, I, I didn't really believe it when I was younger, you know. It's, and then you look back and it's like, yeah, that was quick, you know. Flies by. I wish I knew to take it in because I was really like ready to graduate early. Like I wanted to get out of high school as fast as I could. To enjoy all the memories because uh, four years seems like a long time, but it goes by really fast. I wish I could just go back just for like one more game. You always think you have another chance, you have a next game until you don't. And then it's just, it's over. Don't try to rush it. Take a lot of pictures. That sounds, I don't know, kind of cliche, but looking back and going through pictures, especially like. Um, senior year grad stuff. Um, I just love looking back at old pictures because they're filled with so many memories. I wish I would have just been like, hey, like, I'm here, I'm in the moment, and I wish I would have actually taken that in a little more. All the bus rides. Probably just bus rides after football games. I love to bring the energy to the bus and sing and dance. Um, my teammates don't like it very much, but that's my favorite memory. You gotta treat your team like your family. The last two years of football that we had, we were so close in a group. We had so much fun together that I think that contributed a lot to our success. Don't take uh, for granted of the smaller things, you know, like the team meals and getting ready in the locker room and stuff. A lot of people think about the games and stuff, but it's the smaller things that mean the most, I think. You just set goals for yourself. Set goals and try to stick to them. Just say never give up, like keep working hard. Because I feel like this year, like a lot of people doubted us just because we lost so many seniors. We just never gave up. We st like kept working hard and everything. And like everyone stepped up big time. And like we still got our final goal in the end. You just have to have good work ethic. You can't procrastinate. You can't be lazy. You can't complain. You just got to work at it. But don't take the easy road. Push yourself to do and be the best. I don't really wish I knew anything different because I think that, you know, growing up you have to learn some certain things. I think that, like, kind of just playing it out how it goes and then you learn as you go. Put the time in and there's going to be struggles through school, the weight room on the practice fields, on the ice, whatever it is, you just got to gotta keep pushing through. Don't let the little things bother you, you know. There's a lot of stuff that happens. That's just life. I mean. Just gotta keep going. School can become stressful, sports become stressful, literally, and it's not gonna get any easier through life, so you just gotta learn how to like roll with the punches and go strong through everything.
A lot of great memories there. The incoming freshman class will graduate in 2027. I think that makes all of us feel a little old. That's all we have in sports. We'll be right back.